In this section, we'll save the results of a query, which is a list of verses, and then plug them back into another query to function as a search limit so that I'm only searching those verses that appear in that verse list. So let's construct our query. Go to Search, Graphical Search Engine, and we'll again load in the file, open, and tutor one. Run the search by clicking go. Now I have a set of search results. And let's save that verse list. Go to File, Save Verse List to File. I can enter a brief description for the verse list if I wish. Click OK and give it a file name. I'm going to call mine Results of Query. This verse list comes loaded with Bibleworks under results1.vls. Now we'll build the second query. In this query, we'll plug in the results of our first query to form a query that searches the results of the first query for all occurrences of the word Lord. So on the command line, make sure we're set to KJV, then type in period Lord, but don't press enter. Go to search and graphical search engine. That loads Lord into our word box. Now we need a new word box. Click here. And I'll move this word box over. Then I'll double click on the word box. And in my word box options, I'll click on Verse List from Disk, click Browse, find the verse list that I just saved, or you can use the Results 1 VLS, then click Open, and now click OK. Now I'll need to switch the mouse to Connect Mode, and draw a line from this Word box to the Merge box and I'll save this file for later use. But you can also find it as tutor3.qf. So once you have your verse list loaded in, you're ready to run the query. Click on Go, and now you've searched within a verse list that you've already saved for a particular word. This feature of the graphical search engine is a great way to search within verse lists that you may have saved from previous searches or through other means of working with the program.